Ever since coronavirus started, people have been talking about a winter wave. The seasons are against us. When winter comes, we will find ourselves in a, in a very difficult position. 2020 could be the darkest winter in modern history. This is the idea that viruses have a bigger effect during the cold winter months than they do in the summer. And we're not just talking about coronavirus. Other viruses like the flu or even the common cold seem to be more widespread during the winter. Take this graph. It shows the average number of people who died every day over five years across the whole of England and Wales. There's a clear spike in deaths in December and January, and a lot of that is down to illnesses like flu. Each year it tends to start at a slightly different time point, but it's pretty regular um, around November, December, January, uh, there'll be a peak and then it gradually goes back down. So why do viruses have a bigger impact when it's cold? Well, first off, this isn't about the virus itself. The virus doesn't suddenly change or become more deadly during winter but the same viruses will find it easier to spread during the cold months. We tested for other seasonal coronaviruses that called the common cold and found that actually, very really interestingly, the coronavirus circulates at a very similar seasonal pattern to influenza. During the summer months, most of us were happy to meet people outdoors. Whether it's having a picnic in the park or meeting somebody in a beer garden, when it's sunny, people go outdoors. And being outside means it's easier to socially distance. And we're also using fresh air instead of the air being reused over and over again. During the winter, on the other hand, we're more likely to stay indoors without that fresh air. And sure, you could open a window to improve ventilation, but when it's cold outside, most of us aren't gonna do that. And without that good ventilation, the virus stays in the air longer and passes between people more easily. What happens in the winter more, on average, is the fact that we are spending more time indoors in closer proximity to people. Um, having the windows open will help because it will cause the air within the room to change. Um, but it's that, it is that behavior around you know, the, the closeness to within, within and the number of contacts to within people are coming into during the winter months. The second reason that the virus can spread more in winter is actually because it's drier than in the summer. That might sound ridiculous because obviously it rains more in winter. But that's the thing, because the temperature is cooler, any water vapor in the air is going to cool down and become liquid water, which is rain to you and me. So this basically means any air left around us has fewer obstacles for any viruses. Without any moisture in the air, it's easier for viruses to travel without being disrupted. And there's a third issue which people have been talking about. At the moment, there's no actual evidence for it, but it's a good health tip anyway. And that's sunlight. Because sunlight is a major source of vitamin D. In fact, during the summer, you should be able to get all the vitamin D you need just from being outside. And here in the UK, because of the dark winter months, most people will struggle to get enough vitamin D from sunlight alone. The NHS has always recommended that if you're over the age of four, you should consider taking 10 micrograms of vitamin D supplement each day. It helps to keep your bones, teeth, and muscles healthy. But wait, what does vitamin D have to do with coronavirus? Well, potentially nothing at all. There have been studies in the past that suggest that keeping your vitamin D levels on track might help protect you from certain illnesses, like colds and flus. But the evidence for this is inconsistent and inconclusive. And as for preventing coronavirus, well, scientists say there's currently no evidence that taking vitamin D supplements will prevent you from getting it or help you get better. But regardless of that, everyone agrees that it's still good to maintain your vitamin D levels over winter. So it might not help you with coronavirus, but there's no doubt that sticking to your guideline amounts of vitamin D will help you stay fit and healthy. We clearly are seeing an increase in the number of cases, um, but we need to have better data on and better understanding of, of, of why that is the case. It's a, an unknown because we haven't gone through a winter month right now about how um, seasonality is going to, and the winter months are going to play into that uh, and whether that's going to be an important driving factor and we really urgently need to know that.